Aha! We have Minecraft today. Um, this is not just any Minecraft, though. It's Tekkit. Um, Tekkit is a mod for Minecraft that adds a bunch of um, stuff to it. Like, well, you'll see. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make an oil refinery in Tekkit. So, single player, create new world, refine. I'm not going to do this in survival because it would take way too long. Creative, create new world. Do, 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 do. Wait for the world to load up. It was funny. I had fraps set to F9, and whenever I'd hit F9, uh, Tekkit would crash on me. Ooh, where are we? Oh, this is interesting. What's in here? I'm laggy because of fraps. It's all fraps' fault. And I'm actually going to change some stuff. Options. Video settings. Render distance. Short. Graphics. Fast. Max FPS. Done. Done. Back to game. Let's find a flat place. Normally when you'd be looking for an oil refinery, you'd actually be looking for an oil well. Um, if I see an oil well, I will... Okay, hit E to open your inventory, yes. I will um, make it by that, but other than that, I'm not going to make it with an oil well. If that made any sense at all. Oh, and there's an oil well. Or no, wait. No. In the desert, um, there's different kinds of oil, and with uh, Tekkit, there's these giant, like, these pools of oil that form in the, um, in the deserts. There's not very much oil in them, but it is worth refining, so you would probably get buckets and then just, um, more, like, pumps and pump it out, because there's not, there's not very much oil at all. When you get a really big oil, um, well, it, like, gushes all over the place, and I'm trying to find one. If I can't find one, then, oh well. But, because oil is kind of hard to find. Depending on your seed, some seeds have, like, a metric crap ton of oil everywhere, and some have, like, none. And you have to, um, just do without it. But, I'm not seeing any oil refineries. Or oil. Oh well, let's just make our oil refinery. I'm not gonna do it in the desert. Oh wait, maybe I can. Cause the sand might fall all over the place. Let's try it. How far is bedrock? Ooh. This is neat. Okay, it's not too far down. Good. Okay. So first let's see what you're gonna need to make an oil refinery. Um of course I'm in creative, so I'm not going to be crafting everything, but get all that crap out of here. Re nope, didn't want to look. You're going to need, obviously, a refinery. So I'm just going to lay them out here, what you're going to need. A refinery. Engine. Combustion engine. A combustion engine. Um, wooden conductive, golden waterproof, golden wooden waterproof, and wooden conductive. I'm going to need, that's a wooden conductive pipe, a golden um, waterproof pipe, a wooden um, waterproof pipe, and a wooden, oh no wait, you need a gold transport, or a gold conductive pipe too, so... And a gold conductive pipe. Um... Wire. You're also going to need some... Red insulated wire, whatever color you use, and a switch. And some tank. Tank. 
and just some blocks like um, cobblestone. Tank. It's like tank. That's tank. Okay, so let's build this. Oil refineries are use a lot of energy to um, create their product. So you're gonna need a lot of um, a lot of engines. I made like 30 engines or more. You need a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I this is how I make it. There's a lot of other ways that you can make um, oil refineries. This is just how I do it. Um, first, I get my wooden conductive pipe, and I start where I want it to end, like about right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, I put 30 down. You don't have to use 30, I just put 30 because that's a lot. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your engines. This is the really stupid glitchy part. Actually, you know what? No, don't put your engines. Put your waterproof pipe for your, um, uh, cooling. This is your coolant pipe. This is going to, um, have water flowing through it, and it's going to put water into the engines so that they don't overheat. That is a problem with combustion engines. I was really mad when they removed um, the. Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. When you remo when they removed the uh, electrical engine, because I could have just put a high voltage solar array in here, and I would have had all the energy I needed to power electrical engines. And the electrical engines would then, of course, power the um, refineries. Some of you are probably wondering too, can, can, why can't I just get the uh, a um, an engine and uh, or not an en the brain's not working. Get a um, like a cable or something and just hook it up to like a nuclear power plant or something. You can't do that. It's not the same kind of energy. Um, so let's see if my engines are gonna derp again or if they're gonna uh, no, they're gonna derp again. I hate it when they do this. It's so annoying. Probably gonna have to log out, or not log out, but get off single player and then go on single player again for them to all settle down. That's a bug or something, I don't remember. This does take a long time, so expect this to be a long video. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to log out, save and quit. Single player, refine, play. I did use wooden conductor, right? Yeah, I did. It's still not working properly. That is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna put these on then. This will be the um, uh, the fuel intake for your um, for the combustion engines. I found the best fuel for these to run the coolest is um, lava because with fuel buckets and fuel it's cut and oil and stuff it burns too hot and your engines can overheat really quickly and then if this was to go off you'd be left with a giant hole in the ground I've had that happen a few times why is it doing this that is really annoying I guess I'll just do it this way then. I know you can put them all right beside each other, but it's not working right now. That's okay, I'm just going to leave that. 
Oh, I think I know why. Let's try this. Let's get the fuel pipe in first before I do anything else. If you look, this almost looks like a uh, opposing like six boxer engine or something like that, and in a car because you have the intake manifold on the top and the coolant on the or the exhaust on the side. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. I think it's the golden conductor. That needs to come out again. I'm also gonna in the next in the next video I'm gonna show you also how to make a nuclear reactor. So a safe automated nuclear reactor, so we should be okay there. Okay. So that is your energy output. This is your lava intake and in this side, and then you have your other one. Um, let's see if I was right with this. Nope, still not working. Oh wait, that might be why. Think. Think. Oh come on, no, still not working. Oh wells. Okay, so this is almost done. Now comes the fun part. You have to move this out of the way. I'll put that back later. You have to attach the cabling to actually turn these things on. And to do that, you get a mine trench underneath here. To get the the cable in place, otherwise it will they won't turn on. If you just put lava to them, it will be like no you, and it just won't turn on at all. This is a lot of engines. <laughs> okay, and then you gotta undo the ones underneath them too, so they're kind of floating. And you take your cable, or your red insulated wire, and after you have your red insulated wire, you just go along and wire all of the bottoms of the engines. And then you can connect the the bits there. No, I don't want that. There. Then you gotta connect the ones up here too. So, that was underneath. Let's get your fuel and coolant systems in. For the coolant system, um, there's a few different ways you can do it. I'm actually going to move these pipes here. Uh, okay. 
So, let's get the two things separated first. Okay, so this is your coolant, which will go, let's say, over here. That is your fuel line, which I'm going to make go over... Here. Now, we gotta mine down and mine out space for your. Um, actually, I'm gonna use a destruction catalyst for this. 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 How the frig do you spell a destruction catalyst? There we go. I gotta remember how to use these. I forgot how to charge it. Uh. If I can remember how to charge this, that would be nice. No, it's not working. Okay, do I hold C? God damn it. <laughs> He's a mining laser. No, mining laser is too annoying. Um, what can we use? Dynamite? Let's try some dynamite. Remote thingy. Dynamite. Okay. I'm just gonna get rid of this that I already had mined out. And this. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, okay. So that noise was just my mom coming and asking me something. I accidentally mined it out too much. Actually, no, that should do. What right about there? Let's just mine out another. And there's stuff there, that's what I was worried about. You gotta find a place which that is solid rock, otherwise it's not gonna work. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, because you're gonna have to fill in things and stuff like that. Okay, this has been a really long video. Um, and my mouse decides it's not gonna work. Oh, I need a new mouse. Mm -hmm. There we go. It randomly decides that it likes to disconnect. I forgot you're gonna need pumps too. Pump. And pump. Pump. Okay, now down here you're gonna wanna put which line is this? This is your fuel lines? I don't have world edit on right now, so I, otherwise I just fill this area up with lava. But since I don't have world edit, I'm gonna get lava. No, I gotta want lava still. No, yeah, I'm on fire. This is also why I did this in creative. You can use a geothermal, like, pond, or, or like, a... If you find a bunch of, um, lava, you can use transport, like, um, teleport pipes. And just teleport it over to where your... Your oil refinery is. Okay, that's enough lava. Where's the exit? Okay. Now that thing goes down and we'll start sucking lava up is long now. We need another combustion engine and another lever. Uh dunk. You can use more than one combustion engine, I just use one. Lever. And yeah. Then this will automatically fill itself with lava. You're gonna wanna not turn that on yet. So I got show you why. With this, with that engine now, is gonna need cooling. So what you can do is you can route off some of the water from your um, cooling pond, which will be over there, and pump it to that engine. 
<clears throat> now you do the same thing with this, but this time it's water. And I just found a really big thing here. Damn it. Stone. Um, actually, no. A little further down. Marble. Oh, randomly spamming. No. No. Okay, that's probably big enough. Just an area for you to hold um, a good amount of water. And then, of course, you get your water. Water. And you spam the hell out of it to fill it with water. Okay. Up, 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 up. Then you put your pump again with a pump. An engine with lever. And this time, instead of pumping water to it, because it's already going to have water, you pump lava. So it's a bit of a fuster cluck, but with all the stuff everywhere, but whatever. See? That's your basic thing right now. Now, what you want to do is just to get the engine started, you put in water. Actually, you don't even need water. Oil. You put in an oil bucket. Get it, just to turn it on. Just get it started. Another oil bucket. Nope. Didn't want that one. Oil bucket. Oh, I'm right clicking on the pump, not the engine. Derp. Okay turn that on and you want to let these run for a good amount of time so they get um, just a good amount of water and a good amount of uh, lava flowing through the pipes otherwise they're gonna just not run like as you can see they're some of them aren't filling up You gotta wait until these these engines fill up, and then the engines way over there will start filling up. If I look at this, there's a little bit of lava, a little bit of lava, more lava. That engine's getting all the lava. I don't want it to get all the lava. I just want to get a little bit. Oh, I see what. Oh no, 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 no! I derp doodled. Got the wrong way going down. There. I don't want it to be going down inside that. That would be bad. Okay. Oh, it's starting to pump coolant in there too. As you can see, some of the coolant will go over to this engine, which now has coolant in it, and then this engine has is full of coolant because it's um been pumped. It's pumping coolant, so it will have coolant still in there. And now, all the way over here, I can actually start turning on. Like, if I turn that on, you can see they all run and generate electricity. A lot of electricity. Now, the best place to tap it off, I found, is actually in the middle. Which is a little weird, but that's just, I guess, why or it happens. I'm gonna turn that off so it fills. As that is filling, I'm gonna build the actual refinery part, which isn't as hard as the uh, bit of the um, what do you call it? The bit for the uh, powering it. Now you're gonna need some refinery, obviously. Find where the about the middle is, so I'm going to say about here. Put your refineries. I'm going to put three. 
Now you're going to want some golden conductive pipe. You could link them together. And tap off a portion to the... there. There's no electricity going through right now because it's off. Um, now what you're going to need is... I don't need these anymore. Some blocks. Oh, wait, I typed in blocks, really? Blocks. I need to put a block... No. There. Three blocks there. You'll understand why in a second. And actually make that two blocks wide. So, like that. And... Red... You're gonna need some redstone engines. You can use combustion engines, but it's kind of a waste of an engine, because it's... Yeah, you don't really need it. And you're gonna need your... Wooden waterproof pipe. Which you put to all of those. And then your... That. Which will work. And then your switch wire and somebody's inviting me to play Team Fortress 2 on Steam but I'm making a video so I say no no ha ha that turns them all on good okay um now you need your oil intake and your... Okay, this is your oil. That's your fuel outlet, which will then go into a, um, a tank. No, I don't want to play Team Fortress 2. Go away. One sec. Is it gonna... Making... A video, not now. Lol. I don't know if you guys can see that Steam chat, but um, yeah, it would be kind of funny if you could. I'll have to look at the video later to see. Um, but then you put your stuff there and tank, 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 tank. That's your oil tank. That's your fuel tank. Then you put a waterproof pipe there, and a... Um, I just need a redstone engine. I don't really need a powerful engine or, to pump this out. You can use combustion engines, but I just use regular engines. And that will pump your oil out. So, now where's all this oil going to come from? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's going to get come from down in this hole. You gotta make another chamber, which you fill instead of like before, you fill with oil. And I'm just gonna spam my mouse to make a cavity here. And there is already kind of a cavity here. It's kind of funny. No, okay. Argo, I didn't want to do that, but okay. Um, so yeah, fill this with oil. Well, this is a very long video. I wonder how long it's going to take me to render this. Spam, 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 spam. You know, I'll make a separate video on how to use the actual refined fuel because there is a way that you can actually take a, um... Okay, where the heck is the hole coming out? Oh gosh. Am I stuck in this giant oil pit? Oh, I think I see it. Is this it? No, it's not! <laughs> where, how do I get out? I'm trapped. Ah. 
Aha! Okay. There's a way that you can get um, the actual the oil and then or the fuel and use the fuel to make a um, to make fuel with a retriever to make buckets or to make fuel buckets and then pipe pipe the fuel buckets use a transport pipe to a um, electrical generator and then the electrical generator will then um, allow you to generate your own electricity for usage in like powering machines like compressors and stuff so this is a very costly way to make like um, to make electricity like there's a bunch of other ways to do it like high voltage solar panels are really good for making very large quantities of electricity at once but this is fun so why not do it this way and you can also use the fuel for other things um, I need a pump again pump pumpy dump okay combustion engine Mm, sure, why not? Combustion um, engine. Doink. Nope. <laughs> okay. Then I'm just gonna route the pipe for the fuel. Or that will be for the water. I'm gonna route that to the very end. And then it's gonna get its own fuel, so that's fine. I just need to start up with some oil with an oil bucket. Oil I spelled oil wrong. Well oil. There. Turn it on. And it's starting to pump oil into our tank. That is good. As you can see, it's already flowing through and filling up the thing. Now, let's turn on this and see if we can't make a little bit of fuel. Now, it's not at full ch full capacity, but oh well, do we run out of lava? Because I don't see any lava coming up. We did not run out of lava, so why is it not pumping lava? So wish I could just do slash slash fix lava lava lava. I can't not spell today. That is horrible. I'm just gonna fill it and see if it will. Cause it ain't pumping any lava. There we go. Okay. It did make some fuel, a little bit of fuel. It looks like it's making enough electricity though. Oh wait. It's really hard to get it to work all properly. It's like a little balance they have to figure out. I'm just gonna try this. Multiplayer. No, not multiplayer. Cancel. Single player. Be fine. Play. It's still not completely. You should probably make it smaller. But, um,. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Is it because that might be why there's no oil going to it? Herp a derp. Sometimes, Kevin, I wonder about myself. <laughs> okay. It's charging up. Your goal is to make those bars go green. If they're blue, that's okay. It just won't process as fast. Now, as you can see, we're starting to get fuel in there. So you turn on this and that will pump the fuel out of the refinery and into your tank. See? And it goes into your tank. And then it will fill up that tank. Um, the reason why it's not going that fast is because there's not... Oh, there's actually a fairly good amount of energy, but these... It's not all going right now. 
because for some reason I'm not getting any lava and it's starting to annoy me. It's not because of that, it's because it's not pumping lava. Oh. Glitch? Glitch. Glitch deep. Glitch, 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 glitch. Let's try putting lava on the roof too. Pump lava, please. Thank you. That's what's powering on my engines right now. <clears throat> okay. Some of them are getting... Oh, it's starting to get more. Yeah. This will refine the oil. Change it into fuel. And the fuel will go into this tank. And to take it out of the tank, you'd have to put a waterproof wooden pipe and an engine just behind it and it would pump it out into say whatever you're going to do like if you're going to use it for the buckets and stuff to change it into then it will work make sure you keep an eye on this if any of these engines start to go red or orange turn them off and let them cool down otherwise they will explode and when they explode it's like this. We'll show you. When an engine explodes, it's like super creeper. Yeah, it will make that big of a hole. It's it's pretty huge. Green is okay. But if it turns oh I didn't want to do that. If it turns red, you're in a problem. Green is actually good because it will it's it's it knows that it's going fast. I just want to make something explode real quick. Because it's fun. And I like playing Minecraft and making things explode. That's far enough away, I think. <laughs> that hillside's gonna be gone in a second. Boom! <laughs> Big hole! <laughs> That's what happens when you let a nuke off. That was a nuke. It's fun. Okay. Let's get back over here. When you're not using it, and when you're on a s public server, make sure you turn it all, all the engines off. Otherwise, um, it will explode. I've had this happen a number of times, and it's really, really annoying. I'm actually going to turn it off right now. So, yeah, that's how you make a oil, a simple oil refinery. There is, um... People have made a lot more complicated ones where, you, where they're controlled by computers, by um, red power computers, um, stuff like that. A lot bigger ones too. That I know. I thought this was big. No, there's ones that make that are a lot bigger than this. But yeah. Um, so make sure you turn your engines off. Make sure you have a good supply of water going to them at all times, and have fun. Thanks for watching.